Guys, I made a video like a while back that was all about like rats have invaded Dave and Buster's, which is based on that old commercial. Dragons have invaded Dave and Buster's. The old Dave and Buster's commercial, as you can tell. This time, slimes have invaded Dave and Buster's in this Nickelodeon themed deck. Why? Because slime. But before we get into the actual deck and wondering why there's so few cards in this deck, it doesn't make any sense. Just like and subscribe and comment down below what your favorite deck is or if you like slimes or what deck I should make next. I don't know. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and if we can get there before the end of the year, special video. But let's move on to Commander. We're gonna go with that. Progenitor Ooze. It's a five mana five, two two with Storm. It's neat. It isn't legendary if it's token and there's a battlefield with one one counter on it for each other ooze you control, which is neat. It's the Ooze Commander. So what is the main goal of this deck? This is what people are really here for. We're here for Thrumming Stone, which you'd think wouldn't work in most magic decks. Because Thrumming Stone's five mana artifact, spells you control have Ripple 4, which is whenever you cast a spell, reveal the top four cards of your library. You may cast spells with the same name as the spell from among the revealed cards without paying their mana cost for the rest on the bottom of your library. So that doesn't work in Commander, right? It's a singleton format. However, would this work? Well, see, therein lies the problem, because they come out with cards. You can have as many, a number of these in your deck as you want, so why not have Slump and Humanity, which, if you see this correctly, 29 copies of. <laughs> because why not? I genuinely made this deck in, like, maybe an hour. It was so funny. I basically went, how many Slimes Against Humanities can I run in a single deck while also being able to have decent cards in it, too? It's Slime Against Humanity, three mana. Create a zero, zero uh, with ooze, with trample. Put X, one, one counters on it, where X is two, plus the total number of cards you own in exile uh, and in your graveyard that are oozes or are named Slime Against Humanity. That can have any number of cards named Slime Against Humanity. So it is going to be huge. You're going to be playing them as you can, and you're making big ooze. That's all you care about. So obviously you need something like the Ozolith because there's going to be a bunch of one, one counter shenanigans. Ah. Uh, Spellweaver Helix, though, is weird, interesting, but I think is a really good addition. Three mana imprint comes into play. You may remove two target sorcery cards from your graveyard from the game, like Slime Against Humanity, for example. And Slime Against Humanity also says if it's in exile with it, too. Whenever a card is played, if it has the same name as one of the imprinted sorcery cards, you may copy the other and play the copy without paying its mana cost. So if you play Slime Against Humanity, for example, and then you play another one. Next turn, play Spellweaver. Exile those two. It still counts towards your Slime Against Humanity count. Then play another Slime Against Humanity. You get you get a copy of it with Helix because it doesn't specify it has to be two cards with different. So, I mean, hey, let's just get even more Slime Against Humanity. So you're playing 29. You're playing, what was it? At that point, it's 27. One by the two, 54. That's 54. Soaring, soaring. Semblance a mimple. You may exile a nominate card from your hand. It spells you cast the share card type from the exiled card. It costs two less to cast. So exile slime against humanity with this. Suddenly it costs one green. And then, I mean, hey, it already counts towards your slime against humanity count because it's all cards in exile as well. So why wouldn't you make it just cost one green to play up? Well, infinite, infinite, basically, at this point. Ozlitz just puts more 1-1 counters on things because they're all healing because most of your cards are green anyways. Cloud Key, just name Sorcery because you're playing a lot of Sorceries, and they cost one less to cast. But we'll get on to the other, you know, they are going to be playing because these are just shells of decks. If you adjust the decks from, like, here or there, you totally can, but so if you want to remove some of these, I don't care. Three visits, Sky Shard Claim, Rampant, Thomas Reach, Explore, Cultivate, Bushwhack, uh, Hermes. It's just a whole bunch of ramp. Why? Because ramp on ramp is good and defending your deck in order for you to get to Thrumming Stone and Thrumming Stone, Slime Against Humanity, or Spellweaver Helix is always just really, really good. Thirsting Roots also basic or proliferate. You know, I just think Thirsting Roots is just genuinely really good card. I think one of the better ones. Bushwhack can also make a creature fight, target creature you don't control, so it's a bit of removal there too. But analyze the pollen is interesting as an additional cost to cast a spell you may collect evidence eight exile cards with tone mana value eight or greater from your graveyard so three uh slimes against humanity search your library for a basic land but if evidence was collected search your library for a creature or land reveal that card put into your hand then shuffle i mean 
You search for any of the creatures if you want, or you could totally just collect evidence and search for a land and you've exiled three slimes against humanity. Anybody ever wants to try to shuffle your graveyard away with like an endurance or something, which an endurance and commander, uh, then you still get free things of slime against humanity because it cares also about exile. So you do whatever you want, whenever, whatever you want. Obviously, lands are just path of ancestry, souls, and a bunch of forests. Because cavern of souls, I mean, I don't know, the name slime? So. You know. Nature's lore, uh, enforce a vigor just in case if somebody has artifacts or enchantments that do at uh, Entish restoration, just because, you know, more ramp is always fun. Just within, you know, just in case somebody plays a little pesky card that you don't like. Arch you just search for more lands or search for a creature or removal. It's, it, Arch charm is neat. It just kind of does a little bit of everything more. Uh, Sylvan Anthem, the green creature enters battlefield. Why not? Green creatures control your plus one plus one. That's always good. Why not choice in whatever you want to play? Hardened scales just make your slimes even bigger. Garen Bridge doubles one one counters. Branching Evolution, guess what? Doubles one one counters because why not? I almost put um, put doubling season and uh, what was it doubling season and prior in this, but then I realized it's the slime against humanity is a zero zero that puts the one one counters on it. So copying the token just makes it a zero zero and doesn't put the one one counter. So you basically create an extra token for nothing. So that's just, I decided for it. If you wanted to add it in it, add a little bit more like regarding that, you totally can. I just decided not to. But splitting slime can literally just every single turn, you just pay six and you creates a three, three copy of itself. And then you could just keep monstrous, 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 get even more slimes in case you're not drawing into a slime against humanity. Just exiling cards from a graveyard, you know, in case somebody is being a pesky little reanimator player, or you just have exile a slime against humanity. So it counts towards you anyway. So you can just dump all your stuff into it. Railway Brawler can, you could plot and then, you know, counters on stuff where X is its power. And that's a whole lot of counters. That's a lot of counters. So, why not? Predator, predator ooze attacks, put a one on it. Creature de uh, dealt damage by this turn dies, put a one, one counter on it. It's just, it's inevitable in a way. It will always be killing stuff, thing, and doing a thing. And if somebody chump blocks it, and you're bigger, and you can't kill it unless you exile it, so it's bigger and bigger. Metallic Mimic is just all your slimes enter with additional one, one counters on it. It's like all humanities, which could pair really well with the Primal Vigor and Doubling Season. Huh, never thought about that. Uh, Kami of Whisper, just put more one encounters on stuff. Consuming Blob is just power is the number of card types among cards in your graveyard and its toughness is equal to that number plus one. That's a lot of words. Beginning of your end step, create a green ooze creature token with so at the beginning of your end step, you just keep creating more and more and more. You're creating a lot of oozes, just a whole lot. Bristly Bill, land enters, put a one character. Or you pay five, double the number of one encounters. There's going to be a lot of hoopla in this. A whole lot. Of a bio waste blob, four mana. Ooze, you control get plus one, plus one. Beginning of your commander, create a token that's a copy of this. So, you know, you're just going to create a whole lot of ooze. Creating a lot of tokens. They are creating a lot of one encounters. It's it. All. Biogenic ooze enters the battlefield, create a two, two. At the end step, put a one encounter on each you control, and you pay more to create more oozes. So, you're going to start battlefield with oozes. You're going to smack face just inevitable, like the Eldrazi, which, tune in a little bit, Eldrazi deck to show you guys. That video's coming later. But they, an average mana value of 2.84. Look at how many three drops we have. Three is the number for me. Color distribution is obviously all green because it's a mono green deck. But if you guys liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It'll mean a whole lot to me. Comment down below your favorite deck or if you like this deck. And I might give you the deck list if you don't look in the top right corner. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next deck tag.